Well, 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 look at what we have here. Another Freedom Friday. It's beautiful. All right, I'm sure you guys wanted to see another video about uh, DTIs and LTVs and PMIs and all the other fun stuff that mortgages entail. But since it's Freedom Friday, we're going to talk about what I want to talk about. And that is, booyah, toilet paper. So, since you're watching this, obviously, you survived the great toilet paper scare of 2020. Good job. We're Americans. We made it through. Some of us probably went through more laundry soap than others, but you made it. And that's all. That's, that's what is important. Look, sometimes you're going to think I'm an idiot. I get it. But every once in a while, I come up with some really good information. And you'll never know it unless you subscribe and hit that little bell. Um, actually, what I want to do is I want to use the great toilet paper scare of 2020 to talk about the housing scare right now. If you can call it that. I don't know if it's a scare, but... Um, so, in 2020, when the you-know-what hit, I can't say the word because YouTube will, you know, throttle me or take my video off or something, but... We had, we had demand way up here, and we had supply, you know, steady down here. Well, when the demand went too high, you know, it, everyone ran out of toilet paper. And um, I just want to ask a question. If, if President Trump would have given coupons for, um, you know, for toilet paper, um, you know, free rolls of toilet paper, 40% off your toilet paper. Do you think that would have increased demand or lowered demand? I hope since you're watching this, you're smart enough to know that that would crazily, crazy increase demand, like in a stupid kind of way. Um, he didn't do that, I'm just saying. But... What, what could have happened to actually bring the demand down? Well, prices went up. I mean, you could go somewhere and spend a lot of money for toilet paper. You could actually get, oh yeah, that's another thing. There's Charmin, and then there's other toilet paper. Um, you don't want the other stuff. But, side note, you don't, we were paying prices for non-Charmin toilet paper and getting the junky stuff, right? That's how it works. Think about the housing market as I'm talking about the toilet paper. You'll it'll click. Um, so what could have what could have happened was we we could have um, maybe given incentives for toilet paper manufacturers, you know, to increase their work capacity or other manufacturers to you know invent new toilet paper, whatever you know, whatever. Um, we could have, the government could have talked about having people go carnivore. Oh, what? I'm serious. Like, if you're a carnivore, you know what I'm talking about. After that initial two weeks of, like, diarrhea in your brains out, man, you have, like, ghost poops. You could use, like, one little thing of Charmin, not the junky stuff, but one little thing, one little, uh, sheet of Charmin, and take care of business, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, but they didn't talk about people going carnivore. What they did was, well, I don't know what they did. We just were out of toilet paper for almost a whole year. But um, increasing, increasing the demand would have been like giving coupons, you know, to get toilet paper. Kind of stupid. Not, not a very smart idea. Or you could increase production to kind of level it out, right? Or raise prices. You know, that's going to bring the demand down because prices are higher. That's how the market works. That's a free market. Um, so, when it comes to houses, I just got a call yesterday from someone who said th they didn't have credit. They didn't have good credit. Um, they barely just started their jobs. They weren't making hardly any money. And they were interested in getting a loan for a house because 
uh, Biden, evidently in the news, they heard somewhere that Biden is giving away $15,000 for first time buyers. Well, I can tell you, those people didn't qualify for anything. Uh, the last thing they need right now in their lives is a home loan, something so serious as that. Um, but it, it just got me to thinking, we're in this housing shortage right now. The demand is way up here. It's way up here. There's like nothing on the, uh, there, there's no listings on the market. So even though the plan was just proposed during Biden's campaign, and I'm not trying to make it political, but it was proposed during his campaign, it is not real. It's not in a bill. It's not, as of this video, it's not in a bill. It's not even real. It's, it's a $15,000 tax credit towards, you know, just for first time buyers and towards a house. Um, I could see that if, you know, if we were in a different kind of market, um, because it creates demand. Think of this. It creates more demand because more people can qualify for, you know, more people can get into homes. It helps them with down payments. Um, but that's not what we need right now. We, we don't need more demand. We need more production. We, we need maybe some incentives on home builders to build more homes quickly, safely. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, raise interest rates. So... Home values go down, you know, demand goes down a little bit, and, you know, things level out, uh, things like that. But um, anyway, just wanted to talk about toilet paper, to be honest. Uh, and if you actually, if you qualify for everything else, um, you have a good job, you have good credit, uh, you just don't have a down payment, which I can totally understand that ton of people in that situation because maybe you you got the good credit because you used your money to pay off some bills and stuff I totally understand um, I actually have a really really good down payment assistance program um, if you're in that situation and just about anybody you talk to or anybody that's talked to me um, I usually discourage it because of the market we're in um, it's it's always better to use your money but um, because your interest rate is going to be a little bit higher with the down payment assistance, or there's, there's always some kind of a catch. There's always some kind of a catch. It doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It's just, I'm just saying if, if it's your money or it's like a gift from a parent or something like that, um, it's much better. You can get the best rates. You get the best programs, um, that sort of thing. So anyway, that's it. Uh, go buy some Charmin and pay your bills on time and we're Americans. It's Freedom Friday. Have a good Friday. Adios.